Hi there, I'm Ben and welcome to my collectibles guide for Kena Bridge of Spirits. We are doing Forgotten Forest this time. Uh, this is going to be the entirety of Forgotten Forest. We're going to be getting all of the rots, hats, flower shrines, spirit mails, cursed chests and meditation points. So I'm going to start from the very beginning. So I'm actually still over in Taro's tree here. So this is how you would get into the Forgotten Forest. I'm going to do a full circuit of the area the way you would go if you were coming here the first time. Now you can get everything in the Forgotten Forest the first time you go there, but I'm doing it after the fact. So you won't, I won't have the enemies, but you will. So shoot those crystals uh, around that door to gain entry to the area first. And then this is quite a big open area, but I'm gonna make it kind of make it as simple as possible and just do a, a circuit around. Uh, so you're gonna stay to the right hand side, go all the way around, follow it the, the, the wall round, uh, when you get to this log, there's going to be enemies here, so you'll have to kill those. Uh, once you've done that, drop off here, and there's going to be the first hat is going to be in here. It's going to be the purple mushroom. So if you're looking, I do say this is the beginning of every video, if you're looking for a specific meditation point, that's the final one you're missing uh, out of all of them, then uh, it's the final one of the game. So just to, in case you're looking for that final one. Uh, yeah, because <laughs> it confused me when I first did it. So yeah, once you've got that first hat, run up here, go back basically the way you came, and then go across. So this is where the enemies will be, and there'll be one of those bulbs here that you will you will sort of blow up. Once you've done that, drop down onto this log, and you can see this purple mark in here. This is the first rot of the area. My count of rots will be off again. I will be up to seven at this point. So do a uh, a pulse on the on the little mark there, and then shoot these in order. You have to be quite quick with these ones, but there's just four. Shoot them, and then the rot will appear. So my count's going to be at seven now. Um, six of them are story-related. I've already done the area, so I've already got them, but I'm going to show you where they are, so it'll all make sense. It'll all catch up later on, so don't worry. So again, I w there were obviously timestamps. Stumbling on my words there. There's going to be timestamps, obviously, like normal. I'm going to show the map at the end of each uh, collectible, so you know where I am for anybody who's using timestamps. So I'm going to drop down onto this bit, so straight away from the previous one, uh, fly over here using the flower, and get hat number two, or technically it's a mask, sibling's mask. So yeah, you can see my rots are at seven. Uh, they will catch up, or you will catch up, don't worry. So another quick uh, hat here. It's going to be back the way we came. So just kind of stumbling over all the terrain here. So essentially there's that waterfall that we started with there. So go to the left of that and climb up here and you can see the uh, the hat cart above us. That's going to be where hat number three is. You just need to discover the uh, the cart, like the all the previous ones. You can discover the hat cart and you're going to get uh, the acorn. Just take a minute, so just bear with me. There we go. <laughs> I'll show you where that is on the map of course. So we've got another rock coming up, and that's going to be basically underneath this fallen tree. So as you slide down, uh, hook back round to the left-hand side, go down into the stream, and uh, look for this kind of monolith thing here, and pulse next to it to get the uh, rock number two. So from there we're going to turn around and go back to the bottom of that tree trunk basically because that's the same that's the the path we're going to use uh, do a pulse on here this is how you would get across now stand on the second one and if you shoot up and look up well look up and shoot the crystal here uh, this is going to raise this second platform you need to be quick it's going to raise up and it's going to go straight back down again now you can do that as many times as you like but just be quick trying to get that jump across uh, here's the first curse chest. Uh, so with the curse chest, you obviously need to kill enemies in a specific way. This one, you just need to defeat them before the timer runs out. They're the flies, so they're fairly straightforward. I was trying to, <laughs> I was trying to use the rot ability then, but it, it flew away. Uh, it flew out for sort of range. And there we got the last one with the rot. Yeah, you've got ages. You've got loads of time on that one. You should not struggle with that at all. And once you're done, obviously you can open the chest. But all we need to do is actually. Um, do the 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 little bit for it to unlock that's all we needed from it uh, the stuff inside is just crystals which we don't actually uh, need as part of the collectible 
Next, you can come into this open area here. There's going to be another bulb in the middle here, a red one. So you're going to need to drag or get the rots to drag these kind of crystals from each side here. So I'm going to point in where they would be. Uh, drag them and then pulse to uh, to open up the flower. And then you can uh, shoot it and open up the area. Once you've done that, get the tier. Get the, the rots to use the tier. And then uh, bring them over here and uh, get this block. So this is quite a long-winded one we're getting here. It is, it's, it is probably the longest one. You've got to do the most uh, things to get this one. So bring the block over here. It can be a bit finicky sometimes. Come on. Right, once they're here, jump up. And remove this out of the way. Or get them to move. We don't actually do anything, do we? <laughs> get the rot to move this out of the way. And then we're going to be... This uh, this pile of leaves here, you can see there's a, a sparkles above it. Uh, we're going to be removing those leaves. And you do that using a uh, the tear again. So we're going to do it from here. And bring it all the way up. And then just do an R1, R2, whichever. And uh, get the little guy. Number three. Rot number three. Now we're actually going to stay up here. And we're going to be using this tier again. So this is where we are. Kind of near the water shrine fast travel point. So exactly the same deal. Get the tier. Then we're going to go a bit further and get Flower Shrine number one. So that you, there is a log just past the leaves. Carefully make your way across it. And then you're going to have a Flower Shrine here. With the Flower Shrines again, all you need to do is unlock them for them to count. This part, that has now counted. Although you will probably just interact with them anyway to get the crystals. Because why wouldn't you not? Why would you not? And that's where that is. And then we're going to get Spirit Mail number one, which is directly above us. So if you go to the end of the uh, the log again. So here, this one you're going to need to aim to. You're going to need to kind of twist to this one here. So if you start here and then shoot up for this first one. And then twist and quickly aim to slow down time. And shoot and do the same again on this third one. And you're going to get up to the top here where the Spirit Mail is. Now I don't actually zoom to which spirit mail this is because in all honesty I forgot but it's the middle one in the village near the fast travel point you can see there that little mail marker so that's what that where that spirit mail is is put afterwards now we'll slide back down and we are back down where we got that block earlier on and then we'll continue round on our path Not too far because we're going to go down or up river here. And uh, get meditation spot number one. So you'll need to jump onto this platform I'm stood on here. Otherwise, if you go too far forward, the, the water's actually deeper and you'll start swimming. You can't do anything when you're swimming. What a lovely little, I don't know, what would you call this? Nook. <laughs> Where untouched. Nice place to meditate. I suppose that's why there's a spot here. <laughs> uh, yeah, so do the spot, and once you've actually got the life go up, you're fine. That's counted. And that's where we are. And then quickly, we're going to get a rot here. So this is going to be rot number four. And he's right here. Get kind of stuck on the terrain again here. I'm not going to show you on the map where that is, because <laughs> we've literally just done it. Plenty more rot to go at this point. Not just in this area, but in general. There's so many of them. Don't know what happened there. We kind of just got stuck on the, uh, the block. It does happen a few times. But I mean, I can forgive the game just for that. Right, so we're going back. We're going to go across the bridge. Now we've got another bit of a long-winded one here to get the, the hat, number four, the deer hat. And that's going to be 
getting three of these owls and putting them in location back in the normal location so if you move too far you're going to see that I've, I've marked where they need to go but I've moved a bit too far there I've just moved a bit too far from them and they've given up and dropped yeah question mark tell me about it um, they've dropped it <laughs> they obviously moved too far away so don't do that you're going to have to slowly wait for them to progress. Make sure they're following you. It doesn't matter which one, just put it in any three. They're all the same. Right, number two is down here, nice and close again. Yeah, try and make take the turns wide as well, and don't go near any sort like that tree. Don't put the marker near the tree or anything. They like to get stuck, <laughs> so make them nice and wide. So instead of going straight to the uh, the spot here, bring them towards you more, and uh, kind of do straight lines so they don't get snagged on the the uh, the rocks and things like that. The terrain, and then the final one's over here by this log. So same deal again. Bring them down and do straight lines. And that's number three. So there is a door here on the right. You can see is open for me already. Uh, we need to unlock all of the other, uh, I forget the word, <laughs> it's part of the story. That will unlock later on, so we're going to circle back around. Don't worry about that open door for now. So once you've got all three owls uh, put in place, then you'll get the deer hat. So yeah, don't worry, we're circling back around to this exact point. We're going to slide down the hill there, or the rooftop. But carry on, and then shoot this uh, lantern kind of thing here. And you're going to get rot number five. Right, onto cursed chest number two and hat number five. So the hat is inside the chest. Getting stuck again. Uh, this one, I'm on the easiest difficulty because it's just kind of easy, obviously, to do a guide and not have to bother about fighting. Uh, this one can be quite tight on time if you're not quick enough. Uh, so sh I'd like to shoot the first one, and then you've got the bigger guy here. Uh, I, I was trying to get the rot to uh, attack him, but we uh, didn't have any luck with that, because you actually have to aim. It's uh, a bit silly. You should be able to just walk towards them and do it. There's quite a few of the enemies. Try and take care of the smaller ones. And as soon as you get the build-up, if you have the arrow build-up uh, build ability with the rot, uh, definitely use that on the big guy. And then just finish the last one off. Bit of a mess, but there you go. We've got it done. And uh, once that's unlocked, then uh, open it up to get hat number five. So I'll just mention as well, uh, do backup saves bef often. Um, because I've heard reports, th thank you Michael for bringing it to my attention, that some um, collectibles can sort of not work when it comes to a chest. It didn't count for him, uh, and a few others have had the same problem. So definitely start doing backups if you're not already before doing uh, like a, a clean sweep of an area like I'm doing, uh, just in case none count. The one he had problems with is in the village. We've not done that yet. That's obviously a later video. Uh, here I'm just showing you the next kind of uh, thing, shrine bit you need to unlock. So the order is denoted by the candles on the shrine in the middle uh, for the four uh, blue crystals. Just aim one, two, three, four. Uh, just look through through them through the uh, the shrine, and you'll you'll figure it out. So unlock them. Uh, there's no no actual collectible there. There is one of the kind of memory things in the corner to the left of the shrine in in the water, uh, but we don't need that. What we do need to do is get up to this final bit. So this again is the story. The the way you need to come, you need to climb up this tree.
and halfway around, drop down and shoot across to here. And this is where we're going to get spirit mail number two. So I will actually remember to show you where, <laughs> oh dear, uh, where this one is on the map. So spirit mail, this is the one. So that's the previous one, the one in the center of that circle. And then so the left of it is the one we just picked up. So both of them are next to each other for that area. And that's where we are. It's kind of obvious, we're up the big tree. <laughs> Get stuck on the terrain again here, kind of bang your head on the way up. And uh, nothing else here, so we're going to have to go across. The actual path is this way. Some purple fruits there, managed to get one. Uh, every time I've done it, one of them has fallen off and it respawns afterwards. That's why there's just one hanging there. There'll be three for you though. So the lift will be here for you, uh, but I've already been up here, so I need to just bring it back. And just shuffle you across. A long old climb up this tree but we're nearly there this is the final uh, uncharted section <laughs> right so when you get to the top here there's going to be quite a big fight uh, you're going to want to zoom around using the flowers there's the the monkey ones that kind of throw stuff at you so zoom around using the flowers and once they're all done there's going to be the big bulb flower in the middle here uh, once you've cleared all that use this flower to uh, to go around the corner and there's gonna be a rot patch a wet patch just here and that's number six Now from here jump across, don't drop down, jump across and knock this bucket over to uh, to get one of the tiers. This actually, the first time I ever came here, uh, the tier actually got uh, glitched, it got stuck, they couldn't move with it. So if that does happen to you, just uh, quit out and jump back in uh, and it should clear that up. Uh, the lift also will be here for you already, it should already be at the top, but again I've already been through this area. So the trick with this one is to actually um, do the lift first. There's a little pause. Ah, I can't get it. There we go. Uh, a little pause. There you go. Uh, the lift actually waits. doesn't wait for you, but there's a good few seconds for you to get the tier uh, in action. And then bring it down and smash that to get the flower shrine. Number two. A few bits to the uh, left there as well. A few chests, but obviously we don't need those for collectible. Why is there none of the... Uh, the listed ones here and once you've done that you will have all of the you'll move forward with the story you'll come back to this circular door here uh, you'll do a, a pulse in the middle it'll open up there'll be another little mini boss fight here once that's done you'll come in here there'll be a little uh, cutscene and then you'll get three rots there you can see the purple mushrooms I've already got them you'll get three rots as part of the story uh, after defeating the boss so you should be catching up to me now and now we're going to go big long run all the way kind of back to the start. So past this bit again. And then past the tree. And here uh, there's going to be one of the mages is going to appear. That's also a good place to get the trophy. It's the first place you can get it. Uh, you need to kill one of the mages with his own fireball, which means basically sending it back to him uh, using parry. So good luck with that. The timing is really tight. But definitely try and get that done there because it's the easiest one to do it with. 
And uh, yeah, once you've beat him and come through the gate, uh, come to the right hand side here and you'll find rot under this uh, stone. It is that specific one. I think one just disappeared there. Yeah, it looked like it did. Uh, yeah, it's that specific one. Didn't actually realise there was new, another two rocks. <laughs> and once you're done, there's going to be quite a few uh, of the red barriers around here that you can't get through. What you want to do is climb up here. I can't get across. <laughs> there we go. There's another one of the memories down here if you want to find those. That thing there and just follow it. It'll come through here. There's going to be another, I think there's another bulb here. And then when you come through, the, the memory is going to be edge of that cliff there. And once you've done that, come through here. You'll need to shoot the crystals on the trees above. Uh, you'll need to string them all together. I think this starts with the one on the left, and you string them all together. And then once you've done that, the tear will drop down. And you can push through to the right. But before doing that, we're going to get meditation spot number two, which is off to the left-hand side. Again, as soon as you see the kind of life go up, it's counted at that point, you're good. Once it's saved. Man, look at this game, it's beautiful. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's where we are on the map. Nearly done, nearly done. So there's going to be lots of red you'll need to break down with the, uh, the tier. I think there's a barrier here, there's a few here. Enemies are going to be coming at you left and right all over the place. And then you'll get to here eventually. Uh, shoot that there. It's going to bring a tear down. And use that to uh, get rid of these leaves. And you're going to find rot number 11. And that's where we are. Now just uh, the final shrine, and then a, a few more uh, story-related rots, and then a hat on the way out. So break through the barrier, I think there's one underneath this tree, and then you need to break through to one on the left, which is the path we need to go. But before doing that, break through here, but don't, I cancel it here, you're going to see that I kind of dash forward. I completely forgot I was getting a shrine at this point, I need it still, so don't do that. Come back and just get that quickly. So there we go, hit the shrine. And that's already counted. So we've uh, done all the shrines, that's three of three. So now at this point, I don't actually need to drop in here, show and show you, but I will, because this is the path you need to take. And it's all, it's just for the ease of it, of linking everything together, it's just gonna be easier. At this point, I've actually had my, uh, my blinds open, so I couldn't see a thing because the sun was glaring in. Uh, so if I'm knocking on the walls and things like that, it's because I couldn't actually see the TV properly. Uh, I usually close the blinds, but uh, unexpected sun in the UK uh, just comes out of nowhere. Um, yeah, so you're going to run down here, you're going to pulse, and then you're going to have another little boss fight in here. So uh, once that's done, you're going to get three more rots. So you can see the mushrooms are here. So they're the last three. They're story related ones. And once you're done, you're going to jump up here. There, yeah, a bit of a stump. I can't see where I'm going. <laughs> kind of doing it from memory and guessing. Come on, kind of stuck. It's a bit, a bit annoying that when you get kind of stuck on those terrain bits. Now, you're supposed to jump to the left, but it's easier if you just jump and do the big jump and clear it all. Right, there's going to be a torch or a lamp to the right of you that's kind of fallen on. This area is going to be completely dark when you first get here. There's going to be a lamp. You get the rot to bring it and put it here, and then you're going to chain all of these crystals uh, together and just keep working your way up here. Chaining the crystals as you go. And then there's the big bulb here. So once they're all chained, destroy, do the usual thing. And once that's done, Come over here to the left hand side and get hat number six and that's it and once you go through that arch you're going to be back down where the first uh, cursed chest was and that's it for this area 100 percent complete so excellent right let's move on thanks very much for watching i'll see you on the next one